Skateboard wheels come in a variety of durometers, which represents the hardness of a wheel. Most skaters are already familiar with the durometer number written on a wheel, but don't really know how the wheel got the durometer or what the letter A is next to the number. Sometimes you might see the letter B or D with a durometer number, and these can be hard to understand because the numbers are much smaller than the A durometer. What you're about to learn is what all this mystery and confusion is all about. The word durometer refers to both the hardness of a material and also the testing device used to measure it. And by hardness, we mean how well a material withstands indentation or changes in shape when a force is applied. The method used for determining the hardness of a plastic or rubber is called the Shore Hardness Test, which is named after Albert F. Shore, the good old man who developed the commonly used measuring device called a durometer. Thanks, Al. There are 11 different durometer scales typically used for measuring the hardness of plastics and rubbers. Each scale has a value of 0 to 100, with a higher number relating to a harder material. Using shore durometer values, skaters are able to choose the best wheel hardness for a particular genre, performance, and feel. In this segment, we won't be discussing what wheels to use for different genres. Sorry, that's another video. The various scales, A, B, C, D, D, O, E, M, and O scales, with the exception of the M scale, can all be used with portable handheld durometer testers. Digital durometer testers are available, but analog testers with large indicator dials are more commonly used. In the skate industry, durometer type short A is widely used for measuring wheels and bushings. Some manufacturers or brands like Darkstar use the type D scale for harder plastics when measuring their wheels. Recently, the brands Bones, Richta, and a few others have been using the type B scale for measuring their wheels. We'll discuss more about the B scale later in this segment and see how brands are not entirely telling the truth about their durometer readings. And we'll mention how a high durometer doesn't always relate to less flat spotting. The way a durometer gauge works is by using a small indenter pin which extends 2.5 millimeters from a flat surface called a presser foot. The indenter pin is connected to a calibrated spring which applies pressure for penetrating the material surface. While using the durometer gauge, the indenter is pressed onto the material surface and the depth of the indenter determines the hardness value displayed on the indicator dial. The face of the indicator consists of a graduated dial ranging from 0 to 100. When there is no penetration, the material is said to have a value of 100 for the type of scale being used. Durometer scales do not go over 100 despite products displaying 101A or greater. Remember, 100A indicates no indenter penetration at all. This means there is no such thing as 101A or 103A. How can there be less than zero penetration? However, skateboard wheel manufacturers often print durometer values over 100A on their wheels. Why? This is a good question. Is it marketing hype designed to give consumers the impression their wheels have more durability or better performance? Or are they implying the type A durometer tester doesn't apply enough force to their wheels to accurately measure the surface hardness and give it a reading above the type A scale, like 101A? If so, it would be more appropriate to use the type B or D durometer. Typically, the durometer value printed on a skateboard wheel is not actually the true durometer, but pretty close. Street skating wheels labeled 100A could actually be something quite different, such as 97A or even 95A. Various factors can affect the durometer reading of a urethane wheel, which is different than what is printed on it. Now that you are familiar with what a durometer is and how it works, what the various shore hardness readings are, what the numerical points mean, and factors that can affect durometer, you can now get back to the type B scale that has become more common. On the Bones Wheels website, they talk about the A and B scale, and they state, Quote, it is very similar to the A scale, but reads 20 points lower, allowing the useful scale to be extended by 20 points, which covers the entire hardness range of skate wheels in one scale. End quote. This is not entirely true. Although the B scale does read lower than the A scale, it is important to note that a measurement on the A scale does not directly convert to 20 points lower on the B scale. A durometer reading of 95 shore A should not presumably be 75 shore B. At the Bones Wheels website, they also have a comparison chart indicating that 103A is compared to 83B. This is not an accurate comparison. 
The Bones comparison chart appears to be arbitrarily constructed and not based on acceptable industry comparison charts already in use. The accepted industry chart you are seeing here indicates the progressive comparison between the shore A and B scales. It shows a 15 point difference at the top of the scales, progressing to a 13 point difference toward the bottom. At no place along the two scales does the comparison equal a 20 point difference as Bones indicates on their website, nor does it exceed even 15 points. Any comparison chart regarding durometer should never be used for actual durometer values. Comparison charts are used only for reference and all testing should be done using a separate type durometer tester. So we tested Bones STF-83B wheels with type A and with the type B durometer. Our results were 97 and 98A and 77 to 83B. This showed that the Bones STF-83B wheels being tested are not 83B or 103A, as if a, the scale actually reached 103A. This showed how different durometer scales do not have equal point differences. In Bones's defense, according to the American Society for Testing and Materials, AS TM standard D2240, readings below 10 and above 90 are not to be considered reliable and should be discarded. ASTM advises that the shore B scale be used if the shore A scale produces a shore durometer greater than 90. For this reason, we recommend to all manufacturers of skateboard wheels that they use the shore B or D scale for testing and measuring the surface hardness of their skate wheels. The D durometer scale is also great for measuring the hardness of wheels. 58D is comparable to 100A, which is a 42 point difference between the scales. 33D is about 85A and is a 52 point difference. This further explains and proves how there is no set point difference between durometer scales like Bones stated between A and B scales. So you must use each durometer scale to get accurate comparable readings from a material. In the end, we praise Bones for its leadership in the skate industry in switching to the short B scale, despite their failure to provide accurate durometer readings in a false comparison chart. And we also tip our hat to Darkstar for being the first to use a more acceptable shore durometer scale. Now you know just about everything to do with durometers within the skateboard industry, but there is one more important thing to add to all this. A super hard wheel doesn't always wear a flat spot less than a softer durometer wheel. Durometer does not directly affect wear. It's the material characteristics that affect wear flat spotting. To give you an idea, a very hard piece of wax wears out much easier than a soft rubber band of the same durometer. We'd love to hear your thoughts and questions about Shore, the A, B, and D scale, or anything drama related. Also, feel free to ask us absolutely anything that's skate related, or find answers in our other videos, or contact us on our channel. Please subscribe for you know to get contacted for future videos. And thanks for watching. God, now I can go skate harder, softer. <laughs>